Hey dear ones, it's Savi. So I wanted to sit down with you for just a few moments and offer up an invitation to create some space to do some season shifting, energy shifting journaling. I think journaling is a really amazing way for us to get to know ourselves better, um, to really recognize some of the deeper, maybe even hidden messages that lie within us that our soul is asking us to become aware of. And I've just found it to be so beneficial throughout my life. Now I have come across quite a few people over the years that for one reason or another just have never really resonated with journaling. And there's a variety of reasons for that. Maybe part of it is, I don't know, maybe it just feels too structured. Maybe there was a time when journaling was presented to some of us where it felt like there were rules around it. So, and you know, you have to do it every day and you have to put the date on it and you have to include certain things. And I guess I'm here to say whatever we've held around journaling before that may be holding us in resistance to it now, I'm going to invite us to just suspend all of the rules. There really aren't any rules. In fact, I'm going to suspend a really interesting rule right here. I want us to suspend the rule that we have to even write it down. Now, that being said, there is huge power in writing our feelings and writing our thoughts and seeing, especially when we handwrite it over typing it, seeing the energy of our handwriting. Did you ever do just the exercise of writing something and just watch how the energy, uh, as the energy changes, as you're expressing something in handwriting onto the paper, watch the subtle shifts that happen in your handwriting, especially if it's an auto writing kind of thing where you're just allowing just the free flowing thought stream on the paper. You're not trying to construct something that's going to be read by anyone. You're not trying to make sure that it's a certain length or a certain amount of words or characters. You're just writing for the sake of writing. Um, this is, this is actually a really great exercise. So maybe here, this is what's being guided right now before we even get into what we might do as season shift, energy shifting journaling, is if we're going to just suspend all rules, we're just going to maybe take a piece of paper and our favorite colored pen. I really love that. Nothing says that we have to write in black ink or um, in blue ink. The chipmunks are having a whole lot of fun right behind me. <laughs> Um, we can choose, you know, what, what's the color that you feel like expressing through today? Maybe it's green, maybe it's purple, maybe it's hot pink, who knows? Choose a marker over a ballpoint pen. Choose a colored pencil. Choose something that feels like it's going to allow more of a free flow of creativity through you. And then you have no other, there's no, nothing other than I'm just going to write down whatever flows through. So what might flow onto your paper at first is, I have no idea what's going to flow through. I'm not even thinking about anything. This is weird. I just don't even really know what to do. And you're writing those, those thoughts. Maybe you're going to write, I feel chilly right now. Oh, my right toe is tingling. Why is that happening? Like just these random observations of experience in the body, feelings you might be having, random thoughts, uh, a memory, um, something from the to-do list, just all these random things as they pop in. And what may happen if you release yourself into it, and again, there's no judgment whether you do or you don't, whatever happens is perfect. It may happen that all of a sudden you notice that there is a particular thought or feeling that feels like it wants to be explored and expressed a little bit more. So you just allow for that free flow of thought, of feeling to be expressed through your handwriting. I've done automatic writing things before. Yes, I do like to write. And as you know, words come easy to me. So yes, there is that. But I've done automatic writing processes and practices before where pages later, 
where I thought I didn't have anything to write. Pages and pages later, I'm still writing and thinking, oh my heavens, like, what is this? And there will be sometimes some really major aha moments in there. Again, no attachment to whether there is or there isn't. But it can be a really freeing and fun experience to just allow that process free of attachment to any kind of outcome. And then maybe just look back at what you wrote. Again, not to be attached to it, but what does the handwriting look like? Were there any shifts and changes? What were you noticing? What were you observing and witnessing as you were observing and witnessing the experience? It's fascinating. We're complex creatures and it can be really interesting to give ourselves some of these opportunities to just see what happens. Okay, so that's one invitation, apparently, that's being guided right now. Now, I always really feel that when the seasons are in full shift mode, that there is a lot for us internally that is also in full shift mode. So it can be a really powerful experience to give ourselves some moments to journal through that. Now you can, you could write through this handwriting, you could type through it, you could talk through it and record yourself. Again, this isn't for anyone else. This is for no one else to listen to or to look at, to read. This is just for your own observation, your own exploration, your own discovery. Within ourselves lies this wellspring of potential discovery for us to know our souls at an ever greater, ever deeper layer and level. And I am always a fan of that exploration. So here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're experiencing the autumn season. We're experiencing fall. And so what I would invite is just to start the discovery and the exploration by exploring what does autumn mean to you and allow yourself to be really honest about it you know there's a lot of us that really love the fall season i live in the midwest in central wisconsin and fall is more and more every year i think one of my most favorite seasons not because just because of the beauty that surrounds and the changing of the leaf colors and just I mean, nature just explodes with beauty during the season, but also because of what it means for me energetically and what I know it's leading me toward. I love the inward journey. Those of you who listen to me often know that. I'm all about the inward journey. And so when fall comes, it's like, it's like the gateway opens toward the inward journey even more things start to slow down. You can literally feel the exhale in Mama Nature. You can feel her relaxing her pace. You can feel all of that vitality that came into being during the summer months and the abundance of growth and, and now coming into the final days of the harvesting. That Mother Nature is like, whew, yeah. That was a lot and man, it was beautiful and it was fun and invigorating and just on fire, full of life. And now I'm just really ready to rest into my beingness. That's what I feel in fall. And I hope that that didn't just be like, oh, well, that's what Savi feels. So that's what I feel because there's a lot of other things. There are a lot of other experiences and I don't want to give all of those away in this video you know there's I'll give you some hints right so for some of us at the very time that um, very same time coexisting same time as we're experiencing the beauty and really relishing that out breath and that feeling of just oh starting to relax at the very same time we might also be experiencing, <clears throat> oh my gosh, but stuff is dying. And what does that bring up for us? How cozy and comfortable are we with the idea of death? So that's something else to explore. 
So you see, this is how the exploration and the discovery within you starts to unfold. What does fall mean to you? And don't stop at, I just really love fall because the colors are so beautiful here in Wisconsin, here in the Midwest, here in the Northern Hemisphere. But go beyond that. Go beyond what we perceive as the beauty of fall to what does it feel like inside of us. And don't be afraid to explore the feelings that are a little less comfortable, a little more off-putting, a little scarier to explore. How do we feel about what the season symbolizes? And do we even, what do we even know about what it symbolizes? Maybe you could even allow yourself to do some fun Googling for a little bit and see how do all of the different um, cultures in the world experience the season of autumn. And go even deeper to what do the indigenous peoples teach us about the season? And go even deeper than that into different regions and explore one facet of an indigenous culture might celebrate and experience autumn symbolism in one way and another in an entirely different way. And by learning and exploring and expanding our awareness of how others around this amazing planet that we inhabit experience these shifts and fluxes and changes, how do we interpret that? What resonates for us? What does it inspire within us? And what, by our way of researching and discovering and leaning into those inspirations, what does that awaken within us? What does that encourage within us? So you see, I'm not interested so much in giving you specific questions, although I probably will go ahead and create a journal for this season shift and energy shift, a journal prompt, a question sheet. Um, but honestly, I'm more interested in where you would take that. What are the questions that would rise up within you that you would ask yourself as a result of leaning into what does this season represent for me? What feelings does it evoke in me? What does it make me think about? What does it make me remember? Are there memories and experiences, lived experiences that you've had that rise up that may or may not even be directly related to the autumn season, but that somehow the nature, the symbolism, the energy of autumn does bring up in you. I would love to hear from you on this exercise, anything that you're willing to share. Now, I did say that no one's gonna read what you record, what you hand write, what you type. I'm not asking you to share specifically, but I would love to hear how, how you enjoyed the journey. Or if you didn't enjoy it, tell me that too. Did it make you uncomfortable? I want to hear from you. It's time for me to hear from you. So this is my call. I want to hear from you. I want to know how you're being, how you're flowing, how you're feeling how you're doing, but with all of those other things preceding the doing. It's time for a check-in. I want you to send me an email. Yeah, send me an email. Comment underneath this video. Let's start a discussion. Let's talk about what is shifting for you right now in your season of life. And what is underneath those shifts? What is your soul calling you toward? These are the questions. Have fun exploring. It's so amazing to sit down with our beingness, to sit down with our soul and get cozy and ask the deep questions and to really just listen and discover what it is that we're really experiencing right here, right now. It's good medicine. 
It's the perfect thing for all of us to do as we be and flow. Thanks. I appreciate your taking this invitation into consideration. I hope that you will allow yourselves to participate and I look forward to receiving your reflections. See you again soon. Enjoy the beauty that surrounds you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>